Hi, hello, welcome back. To all those who are new to this channel, I'm Prashi Kaveri, a final year medical student from Bangalore, India. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video, but anyways, here I am with a new video. And I bet today's video is a very informative and a very interesting video. And in this video, I'll be comparing two important apps used by a lot of students for their PG preparation, that is PrepLadder and Maro. Now, coming to the apps that are available for PhD preparation, there are a lot of apps. There are apps like eGurukul, there is an app like Unacademy and many more out there. But since I have personally used these two apps, I will be giving you a comparative video about the same. And uh, I'm not going to comment anything on the other apps because I haven't used them personally. And I know I have made some uh, you know promotional videos earlier about some apps, but this isn't any promotional video and I'll be talking everything based on whatever I feel about the app and how I found it when I use the app. Okay, and uh, you know, at the end of the video, I'll be giving you some of the, uh, you know, very handy coupon codes that you can use for both the apps to get amazing discounts. And that's why don't skip, just watch till the end of the video. And if there are any medical students who are confused regarding what kind of apps you use for your pre G preparation, I think this video is all about it. Um, yeah, and let's get started. So coming to the, you know, click through rate or the strike rate, it is very good in both these apps. The point number one that I want to talk about is the concepts, the duration and the number of videos. Maro has tried to cover every possible point. That's why their time duration is a lot more compared to Prep Ladder. They have something around 1,362 videos. Yeah, I know it's 1,362 videos and I have counted this myself today. And on the other hand, Prep Ladder has around 1,015 videos. That is like 350 videos less than Maro. Coming to the duration of each video, it is equal, almost same in both the apps. So if you're using Maro, that means you need to spend a lot of time to complete the entire portions. Whereas Prep Ladder, you can com complete everything in little shorter duration of time. Coming to teachers, both the apps have hired very good teachers. They're like the best teachers in the India for their course. Uh, and compared to uh, comparing the number of star teachers available, I think it is a little more in Prep Ladder than Maro. But both the apps have good teachers and they can make the subject as interesting and as easy as possible. So teacher-wise, I'm not going to comment anything. They are the best in both apps. Okay, so coming to the time taken uh, for a student to revise, it is obviously lesser in prep ladder because the content is less, so you can revise it faster. And Maro, you need a lot of time because the content is very broad. And if you're somebody uh, who can't remember every minute detail, I think you go to prep ladder because they have tried to comp uh, you know, complete the entire portions and they've given you just enough information that is required for you to go and write your need. Coming to the second point, I want to talk about the stage of preparation that you are in. If you are in first year or second year or in third year and if you have a lot of time, you can obviously go to Maro and study everything. But if you are in final year and if you are doing internship or post internship where you have very little time and you have to finish everything, then I think the better option for you is to go to prep ladder where all the videos are concise and you can finish it faster. And one more option that is available in both the apps is their revision videos, which are a little concise, but you'll be missing on a lot of points if you're using the revision video. But with the time frame that you have, I think you can go with it. But if you want to try and cover a lot of topics of everything, then prep ladder is a better option because the time there is little lesser than Maro. Coming to the third point, it is about the cost. Now, after doing some exclusive research, I found that if you compare it uh, a plan like Plan C from Maro with that of Prep Ladder, Maro Plan C is going to cost you around fifty thousand for the sixth edition, and uh, Prep Ladder is going to cost you fifty thousand for three years. That is, with the same cost, you can use Prep Ladder for one more year. So, if you are buying it in second year, you can use it till final year and just finish it off. Okay, and one extra feature in Prep Ladder is that they have discounts running here and there like, you know, once in a week or so. But in Maro, it's not like that. You're going to get discount once in like four or five months. So you'll have to wait if you want that discount and then buy. But Prep Ladder, because you have discounts running, you know, any time in the week, you can buy it very easily whenever you want to. And Maro, you're going to get discounts only if a lot of people are going to buy it together in groups. But in Preplad, it's not like that. You have discount codes, which you can use it and individually, you know, get the discount. The third feature um, in the cost factor is that Preplad offers something called as a, uh, you know, 0% EMI for you to buy your uh, course. That is, you can pay your entire amount in three to six sittings with 0% interest. That is one upper hand compared to Maro because in Maro you'll have to pay the entire amount beforehand. 
the next feature that I want to talk about is about the question bank. So both the apps have very good question bank, but personally speaking, I feel like Maro's is better because a lot of toppers have given the same opinion. Maro has, uh, you know, more than 20,000 questions and because the quantity is more, they have tried to cover each and everything possible. Preplata has an equally good question bank too. And in a recent interview given by one of the toppers, she said that she did not find any major difference between the question bank of both the apps. But uh, as a majority, if you take the opinion of a lot of people, it is Maro that everybody prefers for the question bank. When you're, whenever you're doing question bank, make sure that you bookmark all the answers that you get wrong so that when you revise, you can revise it and you will uh, not end up making the same mistake again. And that is the point of studying, right? You shouldn't make the same mistake again. And once you start solving question bank, all the minor points that you would otherwise miss would get cemented in your brain and you will remember it for a longer amount of time. Now, coming to the next point, if, uh, it's about the individual subjects. To be frank, there are certain subjects in both the apps that are uh, not that good and you might feel like some other app would have been better for it. Now, I have compared uh, OBG and medicine and studied recently and uh, OBG would always go with Maro because Sakshi Arora mom is really great and she started very, very well. And, uh, you know, in medicine also Rakesh Nasser is very good, but for someone like me who um, gets very tired by studying so much, I think for me, I would go with uh, prep ladder for medicine because uh, that uh, Dr. Marwa sir has explained it very uh, in a very simplified manner and one can study it easily and remember it for a longer amount of time. And because Maro has around 250 videos, it is really impossible for me to finish everything. But on the pre uh, other hand, prep ladder, it has somewhere around 190 videos. And because it is 60 videos less than Maro and the time frame for each video is also less, I think uh, a better option for students like me would be uh, prep ladder for something like medicine but uh, you know maro is really good like the medicine part is so good and it is so extensive so if you have to finish maro medicine and if you are in uh, my pace then i think you would have want to start it somewhere around second year to finish it that is why i personally for me i am choosing prep ladder for medicine and uh, one more feature that is there in Preplata is that you can buy individual subjects. There are apps for individual subjects like medicine and surgery. You can take only that app and study that subject. And such a feature is not there in Maro. Also, the uh, thing is that you can take something like a six month subscription from Preplata for all the very difficult subjects from Maro and cover it in a short span of time. Now coming to the sixth feature, I'm going to talk about notes. Now Maro notes costs around 10,000, including the taxes and you will have to pay the entire amount in one go. That is before you get your notes. Okay. And apart from this Maro notes, because the, you know, videos are so extensive, the notes is quite huge and it takes a lot of time for a person to revise from Maro. Coming to uh, notes from Preplader, it costs around 8,000 and you have one additional feature that is you can pay your uh, cost, your amount for the notes in three sitting, that is in EMI, which is 0% EMI. And that I think is a very student friendly option that way. And uh, because the notes are little concise, it is easier for somebody to revise from prep ladder. Although Mara has left a lot of spaces in edition five in the notes for you to fill it. And in edition six, everything in Maro is also filled. Um, only thing that I find different in here is that because uh, prep ladder notes is little concise, you can revise it very fast. Coming to the next point, I want to talk about tests. Both the apps uh, give you the versatility to uh, choose custom modules and solve the questions. And solving questions is very, very important. Take lots of tests because whenever you take a test, you'll be competing with a lot of students who are also taking the test so that you will exactly know where you stand. And that is very important in your preparation phase. Also, when you take tests, bookmark all the questions that you don't know so that you can revise it on a later day. And uh, you know, both the apps in your Instagram page, they give questions every day. So make sure that you go through the everyday questions so that it will help you remember something on the longer run and everybody will be solving a, a question MCQ no matter what. And I think that is very important because you will just learn it because they give three, four images and things like that related to that question in the coming stories. So you can, uh, you know, remember better that way. The last feature that I want to talk about, about both the apps, is the additional features that they offer to students. Coming to Maro, they have something called as Pearls, where they give uh, additional information apart from those explained in the videos and the notes. And that is very good. And coming to Preplada, they have star boxes where they have given additional information, just like Maro. And in uh, Preplada, the one more important point is that you can buy the notes separately. And it's not like you have to, uh, you know, have a... Uh, subscription to the app and then you can buy the notes which is the case in Maro. In Preplata if you want notes you can buy it separately it costs around 8000 and as I told you can uh, pay it in three sittings. 
Also, Prepladder has this additional feature of clinical case discussion. They have around 230 videos for the same. And it is discussed in a way that uh, how you'll be giving Viva in your college exams. So that that feature, because I've personally used all the, uh, most of the videos from their clinical case discussion, I found it useful. And um, it will also give you a sense of learning and the way you present an exam and they are going to ask questions in the same way that your examiners will be asking you. So clinical case discussion video from Arrow is, uh, from Prepladder is good. And uh, that also costs around 8,000 you can buy it separately. Okay, so I think I have tried to cover like the important points from both the apps. These are the points that I was looking or uh, you know forward to when I wanted to buy a app some two years back. I started my preparation in uh, third year, somewhere in the mid of third year. But I think for somebody who is studying in second year by the end of second year, like the half second if you start preparation, that is the right time because uh, second year topics will be finishing in second year, so third year and third year because uh, and final year you can do later uh, in final year and later during internship you can cover the first year portions and it won't become a lot hectic for you also and uh, i would recommend you to you know watch the they have some free videos in both the apps you watch it and then in each subject compare it and whichever you know app you find good for each subject go with that app for each subject uh, for that matter and uh, yeah that's all for now i think i have covered all the points and as i told you uh, i was talking about the coupon codes that you can use to uh, get these apps in a discounted price i will be linking the coupon code in the description box below don't forget to click on that go check the app and use that coupon code to get additional discounts for the same yeah that's all for now until next time bye bye uh, support uh, me by uh, subscribing to the channel and share my videos with your friends and family who like content like this stay tuned to the channel